Hello React Native Developers, I hope you are well. William here recording from beautiful Zurich, Switzerland. This week, I stumbled upon a very interesting story on Medium, Learn React Native Animation by Building a Circular Progress. And this story really caught my attention because they are building a circular progress without using SVG, by using halves of circles and animating them and orchestrating them in a way that is quite clever in order to uh, reproduce the circular progress bar. It's pretty interesting because if I were to randomly see such an article on, on social media, I wouldn't pay attention to it, but because it was shared by a, a special friend of mine, I thought, okay, there's maybe something to it. And I decided to have a look at the story. And indeed I found the uh, concept very clever. So I thought we would just uh, play around together with this technique. And the way it works is that I've drawn four halves of circles here. They are into two groups, the top group and the bottom group. And the top group is on top in terms of uh, Z indexes of the bottom group. And so there is a background which is on top also of the foreground. So here my background color is white and my foreground color is blue. So we rotate the half of the circle. We also need to translate the, we need to move the center of rotation of the view as well. And so we rotate, here we have half of pi. We rotate, here we have pi. Once we reach pi, we switch the opacity of the background color, of the top background color half circle to be null. So this one becomes invisible. And then we start to move the, uh, we, we start to rotate the background view from the bottom. So here we rotate, here we have 75% progress and we keep rotating and here we have our full progression. So let's have a look in terms of React Native code. So here I have my interface. I'm running an animation value that goes from zero to one in 10 seconds. So I have the circular progress component which has a background color, a foreground color, and the progress animation value. This component is empty for now. We can draft a basic structure of it, right? There is two groups and each group has a background and foreground um, background color. And we know that top is on top of bottom. So let's do these two groups. Oops. So I have the top group and we know that there is two half of the circle. So we're going to create a component called half a circle. So this one is the one with the color background color. This one is the foreground color. Same. So we can replicate this one for the bottom. And we know that the one on top needs to be on top of the bottom part set index equals one and let's write our half circle component so we're going to create a new component as a property we get the color And so the way we build the alpha circle without using SVG is by drawing a circle of a view and then putting this circle into a container, which has either half of the width or half of the size of the eight and setting an overflow hidden. So we cannot see the half of the circle that goes from outside the container. So we have a container and we have our circle here. So let's draw the circle. So background color is color. Width is radius times two. Same for height. Border radius is radius. And here we're gonna have width 
which is a radius times two, but eight is only half. And we're gonna set overflow hidden. Up, let's have a look. That looks good. We need to overlay the back. Um, actually, the background should be overlaid on top of the foreground. This is the part we're going to animate. Put it here. And start a style. Absolute fill object. Same here. Let's have a look. Perfect. We need to rotate the one at the bottom. Transform. Um, can I? Let's see, rotate 180. I'm thinking or maybe flipping it. Let's see. Let's see. Um, so now let's start animating things and we're gonna first rotate the first half of the circle from zero to pi. So from progress, we're gonna create an angle called theta. So theta equals, we multiply progress by two pi. So if the value is zero, it's zero. If it's 0 0.5, we have 0 0.5 times 2 pi, so which is pi. So we'll have half of a revolution. If the value is 1, theta equals 2 pi, we have a full revolution. Pi is here. And now we can <coughs> interpolate the top rotation. So rotate top, which we interpolate on the theta animation value. Input range goes from zero to pi. Output range zero pi and we put uh, extrapolate clamp. So, and we need, so I'm gonna add the transform with the rotate. So rotate equals rotate top, but we need, I mean, as you, I can show it to you, but we need to translate the center of rotation because here this is the default center of rotation is the middle of the view. So I'm going to do a translate Y and we know the height is radius. So the, we want to translate by radius divided by two. Um, so Y is radius divided by two and then we need to translate back that looks good so to translate these uh, transform these origins there is a helper function in uh, redash that we can use to do that which is called transform origin and we can give the translation point, which is zero on the y axis, and right just divided by two on the y axis, and then we give the transformation to apply. Let's have a look. It's just a helper function. Perfect. Now let's animate the bottom, but first, actually, once we reached pi, we want the uh, this half of the circle to become invisible. So we're going to create an opacity value. So opacity equals less than, so theta less than pi. It's only visible if theta is less than pi. And, oops, and maybe here we can simplify simply by having rotate top, which is equal to theta essentially. even put it here directly. And now we can do the rotate bottom. So rotate, I'm gonna create rotate 
So interpolate on theta and input range goes from pi to 2 pi and the angle of rotation goes from 0 to pi and we can add an extrapolate so same story than here just and it's called rotate let's have a look so far so good and yes so we have the circular bar uh, from 0 to 2 pi maybe one adjustment we can do here is overlay a circle on top of it so it looks like uh, there is only the stroke of the circle that is animated. So I'm going to overlay something here. I'm going to overlay a circle, the width is, let's say, radius times 2 minus stroke width times 2 I think same for height and we divide so and then border radius should be radius minus stroke let's have a look no, uh, I forgot the background color. Background color is color background. Yes, it's very thick. Let's do this instead. Yeah, looks much better. So it looks like a proper uh, circular progress bar, but we didn't use SVG. These, we only animate on properties which are uh, GPU accelerated. It's simply just some rotations and opacity changes. Guys, if you've been following me on social media, you probably know already where I'm going with this. In, in the last video, we've built an angular uh, gradient using the mask view. Now we're building a circular progress without using SVG. So we're going to put these two recipes together in the next episode of Can It Be Done in React Native to build the activity rings from the iPhone. So I'm really looking forward to it. And in the meantime, if you are interested to learn the fundamental of gestures and animations in React Native, I recommend you check out my online course at startreactnative.dev. My goal with this course is to provide you with all the tools and knowledge necessary in order to build incredible animations that will run at 60 FPS, even on low grain Android devices. My objective is really to provide you with all the fundamentals of gestures and animations. So I'm looking forward to talk to you guys soon. And in the meantime, happy hacking.